Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the farm, my friends. I've got another episode of Another Farm Roguelike coming your way. This is, of course, our minor run on Ultimate Difficulty. So that's an eight-week run. This is week seven. We have some exciting things happening on the farm today here, folks. So let's pop on in and I'll show you what I mean. So first and foremost, if we look at the little timeline up here, we have the very effective Smith happening on day three. So this will give us double the items that are put into the furnace. So what I want to do here is I definitely want to stock some diamond ore and throw as much of it as possible into our furnaces here on day three. And then I, I'm thinking probably supplement the rest with gold. Gold is super useful. It gets us to where we need to be. And why wouldn't we just continue to add gold and get twice the amount? So that's kind of the plan for Smith. I've been thinking about it. I think that's what makes most sense. Another angle is, of course, coal. But if we look at coal, I mean, we're doing pretty good, right? And I think with the added trees, maybe we can kind of focus on coal here in the first few days. But for Smith Day, we want to maximize what will make us some cash money. Diamonds and gold here, folks. So that's what we're kind of looking at for the Smith Day. Um, additionally, we do have Upgrade Day on the horizon. And in the last episode, we took interest as our upgrade, meaning we will get three upgrades here tomorrow. So really excited to see what we get there. Hopefully we get the one that refunds us a bit of coal when we interact with the furnace. But we're going to have to find out here. Hopefully, I mean, in general, we get something that's impactful and useful to our run because we want to take this into the stratosphere, of course. So we're going to just keep on in this fashion here i mean we got a super large mining operation going on got a little side hustle of trees got a small field for some crops we have cows for milk soup of course we're quarrying some stones some gemstones that is we're milling some flour for sandwiches for energy we just transitioned to the meat sandwich the superior meat sandwich and we're just kind of keeping on in this fashion i mean we've made a ton of money Although the taxes are creeping up a little bit. But we have two weeks remaining here in this playthrough. And like I said, let's just go nuclear with it. So the first thing I see here is the need for more totems. How do we get more totems? Well, we need planks. How do we get planks? Well, we need a sawmill. In fact, here's a plank right here. So I think the sensible thing to do is just add more of these sawmills. We have tons of resources to build them. And we can actually kind of just squeeze a few in here. Let's squeeze a few sawmills right here. And let's kind of put them wherever else they can fit, just in general. Without crowding our cows too much. Don't want to crowd them too much, but I think all of this makes sense. We're going to get just that many more planks per turn. Which will help us fill out our strength totems pretty well. So let's go ahead and do that first and foremost as our first course of action here. It just makes sense. All right, so we're looking good. In fact, let's clear the planks out of here. And let's go ahead and get just nuclear amounts of planks per turn. That's what we're looking for. Let's start with the crop harvest here by pressing the P key. We get a diamond there. That's great. We're going to hold on to our diamonds. We are going to... Harvest our furnaces here, and this is always a glorious sight, folks. It is a sea of gold. And we just get so many gold bars there, it's hard to even know what to do with them all. But that's okay, we're going to sell high on the gold. It's one of the privileges and benefits of not having your back right up against that rent number, right? We've got rent paid, it's good, we can sell high. And that's exactly what we want to do. So four seeds here. It's pretty obvious to me that we need some more kale. So let's go ahead and grab some more kale. Do we have a tree harvest? Not quite yet. But let's make sure everything gets nice and watered up. Of course, our fields are a little awkward. They're kind of spread out. But we're kind of just taking what the terrain gives to us here. We've got a lot of real estate invested in... You know, mines, of course, which is our lifeblood, right? It gives us all that gold that you just saw us grab. So it's a necessary thing for sure. Let's grab 12 jars. 
harvest our nice milk product here. And our cows, I'm sure, are feeling a little claustrophobic. That's okay, though. After all, it is a digital version of a cow. All right, quarries. Let's just see kind of what we have in our backpack for gemstones here. A little low on the sapphire. So what's selling great? It's, of course, the sapphire. So why don't we go ahead and get some more sapphires in our quarries here. Of the raw variety. And those will be more lucrative gemstones next turn. For our seed maker, let's just get more kale seeds. Would hate to run out. Alright, looking good there. Uh, fertilizer. Let's just fertilize a little bit here. And then let's take to our kind of totem building operation here and get a few more totems. And of course the plan is to just explode this in the next few turns and fill out this build to get max energy. We're sitting at 575 at max energy, which is pretty amazing. But we want it all here, folks. So we're going for more. We do have a quest here for 30 iron, 90 wheat. Take that all day. We, we only have, you know, 4,000 units of iron. No big deal, of course. All right, so everything's kind of built up. We're kind of looking good here. Let's get the trace amounts of sand we have in the furnace. Let's sell the earthworm. And like I said, we're, we're stocking diamonds. I think that's the most sensible thing to spend our diamonds on. Let's check the black market here real quick. Wet crop, strong fence. Useless to us. Let's go ahead and craft some milk soup. As many units as our glass will allow. And let's eat that for profit. You bet. Alright, now moving on upward. I think we can start our mining operation. So let's get on our trusted pickaxe here. And let's go to town. And where are we getting the diamonds, you might ask? Well, we're getting them from just our raw stone here. We have an upgrade that benefits us. And gives us a chance to find them. Believe it or not, they're not quite as scarce as I once thought they were. I mean, some of these perks can really do a great job in helping you just secure extra resources. It's obviously uh, pretty good for us. It has treated us well. I think it was like, what, eight grand? It's paid itself off quite easily here already. So let's just continue the mining process here. Supplementing our energy with sandwiches where possible and as necessary. Because that is what the doctor ordered here, folks. Definitely want that coal. Give me that coal. Give me that stone, and then all of the goodies that come with it. And yes, you are seeing fish pop up out of the, uh, out of the stonework, you bet. That's another upgrade we have. And my thought there was, why not? So let's just keep on mining here. This is a pretty regular thing. And you know, life on the farm, it's not easy work, but it pays off in the end, as evidenced by our bankroll. Check the top right corner. only real mining work like this right where you build the mine you set it to gold and then you just get an unlimited amount of gold
I'm gonna grab some gemstones, grab the random alchemical products. We have a few more stragglers up here. Really excited to get into upgrade day here, folks, and see what we get. So all the mines have been kind of mined out. And now we're into the phase where we're looking at our furnaces. So we have 2,200 units of coal. That should go a pretty long way. So I think what I want to do here is... I want to save gold for a few turns. So we're going to focus on iron. We only have, you know, 4,000 units of it. So let's do a round of iron here. It'll give us another sellable product that we can sell high. I'm going to stockpile gold and diamonds. And we're going to use it on day three here. When the smith is in effect, in my mind, that is the, the way to maximize the absolute most. Let me know your thoughts, though. Would you go coal with that instead? I think our sellable resources are probably the way to go. Because you can sell a nice gold bar stack. I mean, we have 2,800 gold bars. Imagine when that gets to 220, right? You'd be sitting on a small fortune. So all the furnaces are taken care of here. Our fields are planted and watered. Our buildings are in operation here. Cows fed. Black market has been checked. So let's go ahead and fish the rest of our energy bar away. And we have a unique upgrade here in that we get wood from fishing as well. So it's useful for us to fish. So let's go ahead and just offload some inventory items here. Just makes sense to do, of course. It's a bullhead selling great. Carp selling great. Sturgeon can wait on that. Sardine, let's sell it. Halibut, sell it. Alright, so the gold sapphire necklace is selling high. We can craft some of those. We have 35 sapphires. So let's go ahead and craft 35 gold necklaces. And let's get our sapphire gold necklace here. That gives us a bit more energy. So that's another upgrade. In case you wonder where, we do get plus one energy every time we craft something. So might as well make use of it for a bit more wood and a bit more fish. All right, let's sell the gold sapphire necklace here. Just a swift 17K, no big deal. Looking good and more importantly, feeling good all right diamond stack let's keep this kind of front of mind copper stack as well all right looking good the energy is gone so let's go ahead and end our first day there into upgrade day looking forward to seeing what we get for upgrade day so let's go And day two dawns here, folks, and what do we have before us? We have triple upgrade three. Potato, pumpkin, radish value plus 100%. Beetroot, cabbage, carrot value plus 100%. And honey value, 150%. The only thing that's remotely viable for us is we are growing radishes. So we could potentially do this one, but these are mostly useless to us. So I guess we'll take this. What do we have next? We have Animal Whisper. They no longer need food, but products value at negative 50%. That's not bad for us, actually. Wheat Flour Bread value plus 50%. We're going to go with that. I see an avenue to sell bread. Triple upgrade again. Fishing Expert and then Gathering Freak. Trees, bushes, rocks, and ores give one more resource. That's great for us. So let's go with that. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get the ideal upgrade that we were looking for. 
But Gathering Freak is nice for us given the volume that we mine every single turn. So let's go ahead and tend to the fields and tend to the furnaces. And just take a little guess here, folks. How many iron bars do you think we're going to get? It's like almost a thousand, which is really kind of crazy. Yeah, 838 iron bars in that one turn. So that's about the potential of our furnaces every single turn for any given ores or items that go inside, right? Really nice stuff. Let's redig our holes here. And let's go ahead and plant some more seeds. Looks like we have a little bit of a tree harvest coming up as well, which is great. So let's get them watered up here. Let's get these trees chopped down for some more lumber. Definitely want to be careful with the axe, right? We saw that happen in the last episode. I chopped down one of my buildings. And I didn't mean to do it. It was a comical moment. I hope you enjoyed. Goes to show you, you can think you're in complete control here of your sharp weapon or tool. Only to find that that is not the case. So be careful when using sharp tools here, friends. You don't want to, you know, destroy your jewelry building. That wouldn't be good. So let's get this kind of dug up again and get some more tree seeds in place. All right, watering can. And then this portion is done for the day. All right, looking good. Let's go ahead and feed our nice animals here. Looks like we have a cow stuck behind the sawmill there. Got to remember to get him fed. Got to remember that he's there first, though, of course. Let's go ahead and craft 12 more jars. And get this delicious milk. Now, I did hear back from some of you on my comments about what kind of milk do you, do you drink, right? 2% skim whole. I heard some feedback about 2% milk. Good stuff. It definitely tastes better. Skim milk is like watered down, if you ask me. But if you didn't get a chance to respond to that, then here's your opportunity. What kind of milk do you drink? Growing up for me, it was always skim milk, but like I said, it it's watery, right? So give me that 2% all day. I can't tell if this sawmill is full. It won't really let me toggle it. I'm going to just assume that it is, and it is. Okay, good. So since we have a bunch of planks now, in fact, 30 planks, let's add a ton more of these totems. And let's just get this filled up. This is more max energy. Something that we could absolutely use. Get the hammer and get these things built up. Lovely. Let's mine out these gemstones here. And how we looking? We looking mighty. 635 max energy here, folks. And we're just getting started. All right. Fields are good. Everything's looking good. Why don't we go ahead and craft our proverbial milk soup here? We're short on glass. So let's make sure we grab some more glass. Okay, and the fertilizer as well. There we go. Alright, good stuff. 
Milk soup. Pound it down. Get paid. Looks like we have an extra jar. Alright, sitting on nine diamonds. All right, looking good here. So let's start the mining process. Let's pound down a meat sandwich. And let's hit to the mines here. So, nine diamonds. I wonder what we're going to end up with. We'll certainly find out here. We get the much needed coal here as well. It's our lifeblood, right? I think it was episode, what, three or four? in the series here when I was genuinely worried about running out of coal like I mean it was a real kind of thing that was creeping up for a while I think with the trees we've added and our tendency to kind of lean toward putting lumber in the furnace we've been able to kind of quell that fear which is good Without coal, we're, uh, we're useless here. Really can't do much. So we have to keep our coal reserves high. In fact, probably plan on adding some lumber to the furnace in this turn here in preparation for the big day tomorrow. So my process for mining is just to spam the O key, which grabs everything. And then, of course, toggle each node that I want to mine. Seems to work pretty well. The more just random stuff you leave scattered on the field, the more it kind of slows down the, the overall process because, you know, the game has to register all of the items and whatnot. So I would highly recommend this method if you are going to try a similar run. Alright, let's see, what do we have? Any stragglers? Nope, looking good. Alright, perfect. So now... I'm going to do the following. Let's add some more furnaces. Absolutely. We got the builder. Build 1,000 buildings. That sounds about right. We have like 1,000 furnaces. Not really, but... My goodness. Alright, let me try this again here. Yeah, so we don't actually have a thousand furnaces, but it feels like we do. Do we have too many furnaces? Yeah, you could probably make that argument. But we live the life of excess here on the farm here, folks. And that's just how we roll. And isn't it enjoyable to watch all these furnaces go up in sync with our nice little hammer motion there? All right, perfect. We have uh, walled in this fine lake here with furnaces. All right, so what are we looking at? Let's get some material in the furnace to work for us. And like I said, I definitely want to make sure we get some coal this turn. So let's throw in some wood here.
Definitely want to save some wood for totems. But we want a lot of coal here. So next turn we can go wild. Alright, so this feels... About good. Let's do a few more rows. Alright, the coal's looking good here. Alright, 192 units of... Wood remain, which is about good. Alright, 40 diamonds, 876 units of gold. Again, we're going to go with iron. Getting prepped for the big day tomorrow here, folks. That's what it's all about. Alright, looks good. Let's check some pricing. Diamond bar, gold bar, iron bar, and copper bar, none of which are selling very well. How about these necklaces here? Gold ruby necklace, 480. Yeah, so let's get some gold ruby necklaces. We have 88 rubies. That'll be a nice little bonus. Alright, so let's craft... 88. And one gold sapphire necklace, just so we can keep an eye on the price. So that's not selling well at all, but this is. So we're going to make that sale just outright. It just makes sense. Why does this have to be so finicky? Sell 75, and let's see if we have a little bit better luck. Okay, we do. Good. The reason I want to keep one of each on hand is, again, to check the price. To see what's worth making and selling in the event our gold is not selling well, which it's just not right now. Alright, looking good there. We have plenty of energy to fish away, but let's check the black market here first. Swift Hammer and Merchant's. I'm good on those. Let's buy some coal here for sure. Some tree seeds. Though I think we're doing just fine on tree seeds. We have plenty. Alright, looking good. So let's go ahead and... Fish for just a bit more wood here. Alright, looking good there. Everything's full here. Plenty of planks coming. Bullhead, we can sell that. Carp, sell that as well. And I think we're feeling good. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot to end our turn there, I think. And tomorrow, of course, we have the Smith Day, which is a big day for us. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Day two is in the rear view, and day three adons here, folks. And look at this nice coal. This nice cachet of coal that we're stumbling into here. Let's start with the crops. And then the contents of the furnace. My goodness, look at that. It's a literal avalanche of coal and iron. <laughs> 903 units of coal there in that stack. 705 in this stack here. Just lovely stuff. And you'll love to see it. Pretty amazing that we can sustain such a large operation. 
Let's feed our cow friends. Not forget the one that's kind of hiding. Let's get a few jars. Lovely. Let's craft our milk soup. Get a nice amount of it that turn. So let's pound down some milk soup. And today is, of course, the big day. Let's get the fields planted. Got a few trees to chop down here, so let's carefully chop them down. Of course, the operative word there is carefully. Let's see what we can get for a diamond stack, too. Whoa. See what I mean? Gotta be real careful. Usually moving too fast in this game that... Yeah, sometimes our buildings become the casualty. Alright, a bunch more wood there. We have some more trees coming up here. So let's chop them down. Got another diamond there. That's great for especially this turn. All right, trees coming down. Let's get our land all tilled up again. Get some more trees in place. definitely be something that we're constantly planning everything's a little more I would say compact than I would like but it's just kind of the way it works out with so much land invested in mines right it's just the way it kind of has to work get a few more tree seeds down All right, perfect. Let's get this fertilized as well. And watered up. Everything's all good and watered. Good to go. Lovely. All right. Lumber in the sawmills here. Want to make sure we stay keen on that. Wheat in the windmills. Let's see. Emeralds. Probably use a few emeralds. So let's get those in the quarry. Alright, looking good. And seeds. You'll have to excuse me. My dog is playing uh, playing some squeaky toy. So sorry about that, folks. She's a very playful dog. Really loves her uh, her squeaky toys. She's got this uh, little squeaky snake that she's just kind of started to rip into the squeakers on, right? And yeah, she's all about it. High energy dog loves to play toys. And you might have heard her uh, drinking some water earlier, right? So she is just living her, her best life here. <clears throat> living her best life here, for sure. And who am I to take away fun time, right? Right? 
All right, more totems up. 695 total energy. Let's start the mining process here, of course. And then we get to do the exciting thing, and that's throw all of our diamonds in the furnace, followed up by gold. We'll take a bit of an inventory, and then see what that turns into next turn. I mean, we have the potential probably to make, what, a thousand bars per turn now? Maybe even a bit more? So what does that look like if it's doubled, right? And what can that do for our stockpile? Well, we're going to find out real soon here, folks. Let's get the work done. Let's meat sandwich this up. Just a few more here. And I look forward to the day where I just completely offload our inventory, right? And sell everything. Get our final sum here, right? See how we actually did. Really curious to see what our final sum is going to be. Even with the super high tax rate, right? We're still, I think, going to be... Better than the Fisher run by far. Better than the Animal run by far. This might be the strongest build we've done on the channel so far. Maybe. I believe the Animal run ended at like, what, 2 million? I, th I think we, uh, we brushed 2 million dollars. We're sitting at 1 million here with a week and a half to go yet. So let's check out our stockpiles here. Get a little bit of order in the old inventory here, though, first. All right, what are we looking at? 54 diamonds. Okay. 1,293 units of raw gold. And then 2,600 gold bars. So first and foremost, let's get our diamonds. Let's get them in this nice little horseshoe around the lake here. Perfect. Now the rest of it is gold here. We're doing great on coal. Let's get as many gold bars next turn as possible. And then someday, folks, we're going to get favorable pricing on our gold bars. And that's when we kind of take this thing into orbit. I mean, in the last episode, we were kind of getting there, right? This is the episode where it all comes together and it happens. And we just kind of retire on our floating sky castle island, right? All right, looking good. Used almost, what, was that 700, 800 units of gold here. All right, looks to be about full here. So let's go ahead and fish with our remaining traces of energy here. Grab all of them fishes here. Let's check the black market. Apprentice and wet crops. Nothing. Let's 
by the coal. Don't really have to screw around anymore in the shop. I believe this is all watered up. Sure is. All right, looking good. Feeling good. Let's see what we get tomorrow here, folks, from our furnaces. So let's go. Next day. All right, it is a thing of beauty here, folks. Look at all this gold we're sitting on. We're sitting at 2,606 gold bars, 167 diamond bars. All right? So make a mental note of that. Let's harvest our crops and grab it. And let's harvest our furnaces here and see what we get. See what kind of madness is abound. Let's go. Wow, look at that. A literal shower of gold. So let's grab it all. 35, 26, 221. I don't know if it doubled. Maybe it doubled last turn. I guess I don't know. It doesn't feel like it doubled there. If anybody knows in the comments, please let me know. I was under the impression that it would be the day, you know, on Smith Day, whatever you put in the furnace... You know, will then be doubled the next day. Although, I could be wrong. That was just an assumption. I've only done a few runs of this game, transparently enough. But that's okay. We still have almost 4,000 units of gold. Let's dig some holes. You know, Shia LaBeouf this thing up. Let's go. Let's cut down some trees. I mean, last turn we did get a lot of coal, right? So, it wasn't necessarily a bad thing if that's what in indeed happened, right? So that's okay. We need the coal. We'll use the coal. Not a bad way to spend. A turn with a really good, you know, event, right? take down the trees let's get some more on the field and get everything all watered up all right looking good here All right, looking good. Again, let's do the whole watering thing. All right, looking good. For the quarry here, what do we need? Gold emerald necklace. Let's get some more emeralds then. Let's get some more planks. Some more flour. No jars yet. All right, let's sell some random stuff. Looks like I sold something there. That's okay. Just not worried about it, folks. 
we are stress-free here on this fine farm. And let's build some more strength totems. Good deal. Let's see, what was the sources destroyed within range grant plus one resource? So let's just start throwing these down everywhere, right? That's the evolution of our build here. Just getting these totems everywhere. Yep, definitely. All right, let's start the mining process here. Just another day in the northern mines here, folks. Some iron, got some big gold nodes here. That's what you love to see. Let's get a little meat sandwich action going on. I'm not going to lie, I like the smaller nodes a little bit better because they mine in one stroke, right? None of this multi-stroke stuff. We want to do this quickly. Alright, continuing on. Alright, looking good. What do we have for coal? We have 3,700 units of coal. Very nice. Got some fertilizer too. Why don't we get that? Let's get that out. Alright, 1,000 units of gold. How about diamonds? 18. So let's get those in place. Let's get just a bit of lumber in here as well. Alright, and then the rest can be gold. Like I keep saying, you know, someday we're going to be able to sell our gold stack. And it's going to be awesome. It'll make us immediately rich. Might actually be the biggest sale that I've personally ever done on this channel. We'll of course see. Depends of course what the quantity is of our gold bars when we get there.
All right, looking good. Have a bit of energy left, so let's fish it away, of course. Okay, looking good. Uh, how about the black market, Prentice and Quest Hunter? I'm good. I think we're squared away. I think we can end our turn here, folks. So why don't we go ahead and end our turn? But first, <laughs> let's check some sell prices. Iron, selling low. Gold, selling mid. Copper, selling low. Diamond bar, gold bar. Not quite up to the range we want it, but iron bar. Selling high end here, folks. So this is wonderful stuff. Make the sale there. $223,000 for a stack of iron bars. Can build a railroad empire with that if you want, I suppose. All right, looking good now. I mean, we just crossed the uh, million dollar barrier here. And we're not turning back. Tomorrow we have no sardine. We cannot catch a sardine. That is a huge bummer. Just kidding. So on to the next day here. Let's go. All right. Day five dawns. And furnaces... Fields and furnace. And look at all of that gold. And coal. All great things here. Sitting on a stack of 4,000 gold bars. Looks like we have the opportunity to sell our diamond bars this turn. So we'll certainly get there once we get into the, the sell phase of our day. I don't see the point in holding on to it, if I'm being honest. So you bet we're going to make that sale. And it's going to be completely underwhelming compared to... Compared to, like, our, our gold bars. Whenever we get the chance to sell those, yeah, you bet. It's going to be crazy. And I'm looking forward to it. All right, gemstones. Nothing selling particularly well. So why don't we go ahead and just get a blend of sapphires and rubies. Sapphire, sapphire, sapphire. Ruby, ruby. All right. Wheat in the mills, you bet. All right, let's dig up our fields. Get down some kale. Let's fertilize. And water. Can't forget the watering. I've been known to forget the watering, if I'm being completely honest. Guilty is charged on that one there. All right. Fish prices. Sure thing. Sell some fish. Want to make sure I get my sand in the furnace as well. Okay, looking good. All right, 30 planks. So let's go ahead and build these prosperity totems. Let's build them like everywhere. Take our fine diamond hammer to them. All 
All right, perfect. How about the black market? Pure strength merchant. Nothing doing for us here. So let's start the mining process. And continuing on, I think I'll just target the, the small ones for now. Clear out the field a little bit and then backtrack. We'll see if this kind of helps speed it up just a bit. Good. Let's take out the big ones here. It certainly doesn't feel like it's speeding anything up, right? What do you know? There's a totem that I did not build. Gotta make sure I do that. Let's take care of that right now. Alright, welcome to the field totem. Happy to have ya. Alright, looking good. Everything all mined up. Good to go. You bet. Tremendous. Everything's watered up as well. Yep. Okay, so for the furnaces here. 24 diamonds. Let's start there. Sitting on 4,000 units of coal, which is a number that I never thought I would see, to be honest. So let's go to the gold then. Probably get most of this stack in the furnace. I think it's going to be close. Oh yeah, we used it all. So let's get some iron as well. It's looking pretty full, pretty ripe. All right, so looking good there. How, how about iron? Selling 50 of 60. I think we can hold off on that. Halibut, absolutely. Carp, nope. Wait on that. Nothing really happening with the rest of the fish. Bullhead. See you later. Yeah, why not sell bread high? Got plenty of flour here. Can always make more. Have a nice stockpile of the meat sandwich for now, though. We're sitting on 12,000 stones here, folks. 12,000. 
That's pretty crazy. Alright. Diamonds. $560 per bar. Let's make the sale. $133,000. Right there. Gold bar sitting on our cache of 4,000 gold bars. It's just not time to sell yet. We're selling high or not selling at all. Alright. So that is through. That is good. Let's fish some. And let's get on out of here. On day five. So we have bullheads. I mean, transparently enough, I'm catching a lot of fish too. Which is kind of crazy. All right, looking good, feeling good. Let's end our turn right there. All right, day six dawns here. We have seasickness in effect, so don't sell fish today. So let's... Watch all of our furnaces collapse into their res respective stockpiles. Here we go. The most enjoyable thing right there. And then it's like, here you go. Here's some free cash money. Lovely stuff. Just lovely. All right, come on. This isn't the animal run all over again. My goodness. All right, let's craft 12 jars as we normally do. Get some milk. Let's get some flour. In fact, while I'm thinking about flour here, I want to get some bread going. In fact, we have a lot of flour. It's been a while since we made some bread. All right, good deal. Let's get the fields dug on here. Absolutely. Let's see, what do we have? Gemstones. What is selling for a necklace? Sapphire. Okay. So let's get some sapphire. Let's get some planks. Alright, looking good. Plant some kale, plant some wheat. And let's get them watered up. Let's get the trees cut down. Trees toppling here. All right, looking good. Let's work the land here.
and get a few more trees planted. Definitely do want to get some sand in the furnace. Just a little bit. Let's build some of these totems. Prosperity totem. Very nice. Couple of good wax with the hammer here. All right, looking good. Let's start mining. Let's keep going here. Man, we are getting so much ore. It's, it really is kind of crazy. That's one thing to appreciate about this game. There's so many different ways to play, right? Like, you think of a farming game, and it's like, okay, we're going to be growing crops or working with animals, right? Well, what if you just wanted to be a miner? You certainly can be. I think this game just simply needs more, right? It just needs more to it. More things to do with gold bars, right? More things to do with this or that, right? It needs, like, uh some super tier items to make, right? Like super expensive, complex items. Definitely needs some of those. And there is, you know, a, uh, a rebirth version of this game. It's on Steam. It hasn't been announced for release yet. Excuse me. It's something to keep your eye on. Probably put it on your, your wish list if you like this game. Because it's really, in a lot of ways, in the spirit of this game, at least based on the images available. But it appears to be like an upgraded version of it. So, maybe it's exactly what I'm asking for, right? It very well could be. So, I definitely have my eye on that one here, folks. And if you like this playthrough series, perhaps you will like that one as well. Um, we'll definitely be launching that on the channel whenever it drops. I mean, this series has been a success. I've heard from you people and you seem to like this, this series and you know, that gives me energy to make content for it. That's the type of, uh, it's the type of creator I am. That's the type of channel that I want to foster here, right? A community, a channel that listens. And a channel that also isn't shy about accepting your feedback and listening to you, right? Like, I obviously enjoy playing games that I enjoy playing. You know, this is definitely a game I enjoy playing, right? Absolutely. But, you know, uh, on the other hand, you know, kind of, what do you, like, what would you like me to play? What do you want to see featured on the channel? I think that's, like, the core of what I'm trying to get at here, right? And this game was actually recommended to me by a subscriber. And then due to that, you know, I, I looked into it and thought it was a great fit for the channel. 
got some buzz on it. You know, people were excited about it. So here we are doing a playthrough of it. So, I mean, getting a playthrough series of your favorite game, it's really as simple as just suggesting it. And I'll see what I can do, right? I can't take all suggestions, obviously. I have a certain, like, vision for the channel and the games I want to feature on it. But, I mean, as far as games go, just let me know what you like. And I can certainly see if I consider it a fit. And if I do, you know, I, I like doing playthrough series, right? Not necessarily a single episode of a single game and that's it. I like doing a, a series, so... I would prefer the game to sort of kind of evolve, right? Or continue on as we go, right? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I explained that very well, but that's kind of the vision I have for the channel right now. You know, I want to build a community and I know I can do that by giving you the content that you're looking for. So... The only way I really know what you're looking for here, folks, is for you to let me know, right? So, don't be shy. Let me know your favorite games and kind of what you think you'd, you'd want to see. I, I know, uh, like, farming games are pretty popular because they're just relaxed. They're, they're chill. They make for, you know, good ambiance. Good little thing to uh, tune into after work or during work, right? However you consume content. Nice little uh, farm game playthrough is certainly a good thing, I would definitely say. So, we like our farm games here on the channel. Obviously, we're transitioning into Stardew Valley 1.6 here, which is releasing tomorrow. I'm recording this on Monday, March 18th. So, I'm really looking forward to the Stardew Valley playthrough. And, you know, frankly, I hope you are as well. Should be a fun series. Should be a fun ongoing thing to just add add to the channel. It makes sense to do it given this community's love for farming games. I've heard you loud and clear, folks. And I enjoy playing them as much as uh, you enjoy the overall content as well. So just a little bit of, you know, current state, future state, kind of vision talk with you. But I want you to know that, you know, I, I want to build a community here and I want to hear from you. So you let me know. What games do you like? What games do you not like? What would you want to see? I want to foster an open environment where we are in communication with one another and... Communicating is as simple as just adding a comment to the video. I read everything and I try to respond to everything that I can, frankly. So, thank you. And if you're not subscribed and you're at the hour 13 mark here in the video, and you're not subscribed for some reason, please consider becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you on the channel. We'd love to have you in said community. You can interact with me right there, like I said. Through the simple comment function on the YouTube sphere. And frankly, I'd love to have you. So, consider joining on up and... Yeah, let's have some fun. So, the day's pretty much over here. Let's check some sell prices. Uh, Diamond Bar is selling pretty good, but not high-end. Gold Bar is selling high-end. Here, here we go, folks. So for the sake of this, let's say it's 5,000. 5,000 gold bars. We've been building this, you know, for the past few weeks here. And we're going to make the big sale right now. So how much do you think we're going to see here? What, like 500k? Maybe. Am I underestimating that it's going to be like 800k? I, I don't know. But let's see. Let's find out. There's only one way to find out. That's a million dollars. 1.09 million dollars in one single sale here, folks. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That brings our total up to 2.45 million dollars. Tomorrow we have 450k coming out of the bucket. 
but that's not a problem at all to us. We simply cannot be stopped. Absolutely not. So you love to see that, folks. And on that note, let's end our day right there. Let's check the shop here real quick for some black market. No, we're good. We are looking good, feeling good. Squeaky clean, and we just made a million dollars in a single sale. Ridiculous. So let's end the turn there. Day 7 dawns here, folks, and the final day of week 7 is upon us. So let's do all of the typical stuff, and let's collect some bread, I suppose, this time around. Look at all this bread here, folks. It is raining bread. It's about 300 units of bread. Plus a bunch more gold to add to our growing stack that we kind of... We're, we're starting over a bit on, right? But man... I've never seen a sale that, that big, or at least on this channel, right? That's my, my biggest sale, by far. What's the biggest sale you have ever seen? 5,000 gold bar selling at the optimal 220 is a pretty nice sale, I, I must admit. Now, of course, there's ways you can, like, artificially rig it, right? Like, I could have waited until 220 came around again and sold 10,000 bars, right? But I wasn't about to do that. Whoops, I just destroyed a mine. But I wasn't about to do that, folks. You look forward to that nice little boost, right? Where you have the flexibility to hold on to your products. You have the flexibility to sell high. And that's precisely what we just did there. Alright, so let's add that mine back. That was definitely my bad. I've gotta be careful with my axe. And let's dig, dig, dig. And then plant more trees like we're Johnny Appleseed here. Into my normal fields now, I mean... That's alright, we're not really making kale sandwiches anymore. The milk soup is holding up rather well, even through all of our mining, right? So I'm not really worried about it. In fact, we can probably retire the whole field process, probably like now, to be honest with you. Alright, let's see. Got a bunch of crap in our inventory to sell. So let's get it sold. Halibut, sell it. Carp, nope. Red mullet, nope. Sturgeon, nope. All right, let's get the jars here. Craft some milk soup that, frankly, I'm not really sure how much more we're going to need of it. As we start thinking about retirement, right? I mean, retirement is right around the corner here, folks. This is the final day of week seven. This is an eight-week run. As advertised, and it turned out pretty darn strong for us. So some of these more mundane tasks are just that. I mean, they're just not going to be needed, right? I don't think I need to make any more seeds. I want to keep making planks for more totems for sure. But I think we can start offloading some tasks here that we simply just don't need to do. Mm. 
One thing we absolutely will continue to do, though, is mine and fill up our furnaces. I will also kind of seek opportunities to... Sell some things while they're hot. So what do we need for... Prosperity totem takes bones. Okay. Yeah, the alchemy stuff doesn't really sell all that great anyway, so... We can kind of just wait on that until... The final day where we offload... Basically all of this random stuff. Like 13,000 stones, right? But I don't know that I need to keep making bread or flour, right? I, I just don't think we, we need to. But let's start the mining process here for the final time in this episode. And what a build this turned out to be. Don't really know what else to say about it. I mean, I, I thought it could possibly be strong. I didn't know if it was even possible, to be honest. Like when I first launched this series, if you want to go back to episode one, right? I, I was skeptical. Wasn't really sure how strong this would you know, really end up being. It seemed like it was possible. And we got some of the right upgrades and, you know, the rest is kind of history. It turned out very strong. Upgrades in this game are no joke. That's for sure. And our final bill is going to be seven, seven hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars, which we can pay for in our sleep at this point. But I, of course, want to get as much cash as possible. So we're sitting at two million, which was the final sum in our last run. So can we push for three? How about three point five? That might be a little ambitious, but it's possible. When you feel like you just got it one, then it, it's all about maximizing, right? How much income can we actually make? Well, we're going to find out here, folks. We'll be finding that out during the exciting conclusion. Not quite there yet. This is week seven. We have one more week to go to earn as much cash as possible. Or to run out of coal. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. No, there's there's nothing stopping us here. We could run out of coal and be just fine. So let's go ahead and get our diamonds going. Of course. And our gold. Gold, let's go. More gold bars. Our lifeblood, our staple. Iron sell price. I'm definitely going to sell that iron stack. That's going to be low-key a pretty big sum as well. But in the interim, let's just make some bars with it.
All right, that's about good. Feels about good. All right, everything else, pretty much good to go. So let's fish, check some pricing, and land this plane on this week here, folks. And then, of course, we, in typical fashion, will take a peek into next week and into the final episode. All right, so what do we have? Diamond bars, gold bars, iron bars, copper bars. Okay, so copper bars are selling, you know, look at that massive $240, right? Iron bars selling pretty good, but I think we can hold off on them. All right, everything appears to be in order here. Don't really need to mess with the shop anymore. 2,500 units of coal. So let's end our turn. Let's end the week. And let's take a peek at the upcoming final week eight of the playthrough. So let's go. And week seven, folks, was a week... For the record books. We made a million dollar sale. We got our bankroll up to two million dollars. And there's just no turning back. There's no stopping us. We cannot be stopped. Rewards are lackluster at best. 35 planks for 15 sheep. That's crazy. All right, we have blind merchant in effect, which always makes me laugh it feels wrong it feels very very wrong we of course have an upgrade we have rain we have anti-forager meteor shower wouldn't that be just a way to go out right meteor just boom right here right just destroys everything or it's a giant meteor that just takes out the the whole farm wouldn't that be something Something of a climax. Rat Plague. Of course, Rat Plague. Yeah. Why not? Let the rats come. At that point in time, we'll be wrapping up. And then, of course, Payment A, where we've already got it twice over. Almost three times over. So that is week seven here, folks. That is week seven in the books. Looking good. Looking mighty. Feeling good, of course. And there's just one episode remaining here in the Ultimate Miner Run. Now, like I said before, I didn't know if this was possible. Found out pretty quickly that it is. But it does depend on a strong roster of upgrades that, you know, we have. We're missing a few of them that would be super useful. But we've got a bunch of great upgrades here that are really working for us. Especially Wealth of Wealth. We have superior energy here at 750 per turn. And then meat sandwiches to kind of back that up. We're making gemstones, folks. We're making necklaces. We're making planks. We're feeding our cow friends. We're making diamonds and gold bars. We're selling them all for massive profit. In fact, gold bar is selling high end yet again. So that'll definitely be a sale we make, but that's going to occur in the next episode. So with that said, folks, I do want to thank you so much for your viewership. I really do appreciate it. If you are here at the hour 30 mark and not subscribed, please consider becoming a subscriber. Join the community. We'd love to have you. Converse, interact, comment, like, subscribe. All that good stuff. Help out this small and new channel. You have my thanks. So with that said, folks, we're going to catch you in the next and final video in this playthrough series. I really do appreciate it. Have yourself a great day wherever you're at. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.